mm -hmm. thinking that people want a huge bottle of orange liqueur. It's a great product nobody wants. <laughs> Like the um, like the average home person is what right. I mean. Nobody wants this in their home. I used to drink it straight. Because? It was sweet and boozy. Oh! Okay. It's, it's, it tastes like oranges. Right. Mm -hmm. You may not know. And uh, it's 40 percent alcohol, but it tastes like candy. It's, I think, the perfect drink for uh, teenagers. <laughs> Which is when you started drinking it. Yes. And now that's our next uh, publication mm -hmm. if you subscribe to the newsletter. Drinks for teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Perfect drinks for teenagers. But I mean, what graduation uh, season is coming up here, so. Yeah. Good for preteens, you know. Preteens, kids all ages. Post teens. Especially post teens. Uh, uh, what if we, I mean, so we I'm going to get you to dig into your. Oh. Oh. Because I don't have a. I don't have a. Oh, oh I, got, I got the knife. You got the knife? That's. Now, do they get just dropped in? Probably, but I'm going to put them in now. Ooh, they're nice looking guys. Yeah. Sometimes uh, we don't do garnish here on the show, but that's because we're lazy. <laughs> you do it yourself. Yeah, if you're not really lazy, you uh, you can garnish it how well this thing. That's the sound of stirring. <laughs> that's a lie. Are your hands cold? They are cold. That's how you know it's done. If your hands stick to it, yep. and flesh comes off. Mm -hmm. You have overshaken. Oh. That's have it. you got a little cup there, Dave? Oh, yeah, I can you just want use a little cup? You want a fresh cup? No, it's fine. Use the old Dave, one. Dave is not fussy, as it turns out. He, he looks like somebody that would be fussy, but he is in well, fact not. Yeah. People say I have a resting fussy face. <laughs> hey, fussy face. Hey, fussy face. And so this is now the inspiration. We don't know anything about the... I mean, that's what I we're going to get to with these crazy books of thousands of cocktails, you don't know the pedigree of any of them. No. No. There's no reason that it shouldn't be good, but at the same time, why on earth would it be good? So we're mm. going to find out. Mm. All right. Oh, well, sorry. I should have got while I was over there. Well, you were in the neighborhood. I should have uh, grabbed one of these. Here. Oh. Drop that on the keyboard. <laughs> Pass my little one. Over, it's uh, would you? Oh, yeah, it's, it's yeah, certain, to, certain to clear up a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, considering that we shook it and it was going to be cloudy, it's not that cloudy. And then it's got that ominous cherry sitting in the bottom of it. <laughs> so that's kind of neat. Mm, yeah, and, smells uh, good. So we've got gin, which tastes like gin. We've got vermouth, which tastes like vermouth. We've got Calvados, which is an apple brandy, which doesn't taste super apple-y. And then the Grand Marnier, which is orange, which mm -hmm. is pretty orange, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's extreme. It's extreme orange. The smell is nice. It smells like... That's me. Like some kind of, oh, it, it, it tickled something way back in my 70s memory, but I don't know what it was. Again, it was a candy type thing. Oh, on, yeah. On account of me being a kid in the 70s. <laughs> no, it's got a real candy. Yeah. No, yeah. there's something. That's something. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but there is. There's a, something from the past. Okay. Chin chin. Chin chin. Yeah, the, I don't not like it, but again, it's very one note. It's not doing anything to surprise It's a good companion me. to the hop toad. <laughs> yes, this is... Uh, one note town. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, granite as compared to granite. <laughs> hmm. I get the oak off of the Calvados. I get the vermouth, mm -hmm. which is the tough one for us to get over. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a vermouth finish. So it's very martini-like in that respect. Mm -hmm. Uh, I get the orange mm -hmm. uh, three seconds in. Yes. Actually, okay, now this is getting a bit more complex. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like the flavors, but <laughs> I get all the flavors. You're getting, I'm going to have a little bit of salt here. Or it kind of all rides along. I just want to try and clear, clear my palate. Clear your palate, for God's sake. Mm. But uh, if this was an inspiration that somebody said, and a pretty cool mouse of gin, dry vermouth, calvados. It's like they were going to take that original martini recipe where it was even parts gin and vermouth. Right. And then they said, I don't like that. What might make it better? What if I add, uh, put uh, fruit liqueurs in it? And I don't know if it necessarily, I guess it probably makes it more palatable. 
but uh, mm, yeah, I mean, compared to a a gin martini. Now, what's what's the? There's something martini like that has a cherry in it. Is it the? Not the gimlet. Gimlet's got a olive, uh, 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 onion. Okay, I think you're right. But 